Hey folks, uh, it's Major Freak. I'll, uh, I'll lead you through EVE Online's planetary uh, interaction or planetary industry stuff. Um, real quick, uh, how to get started, where to go. Uh, low sex great. Um, it, it can be done safely, trust me. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to do it. So resource harvesting, planetary industry. This is quite helpful. Uh, there used to be a really good website that is they seem to have integrated into the game. Um, what you're looking for is um, let's go for Baron because we want to make we'll eventually make fuel blocks. That's my intention. But mechanical parts is helpful because not only that's it's my main bread and butter. Not only do I use it for fuel blocks, but I also need it for robotics. So. Uh, Nazil, I've got four here. Um, it, this is really helpful, actually. Check this out. So we've got one in Ruchi, but four here. Try to have, if possible, try to find a system with all all the planet types. Even if you can find a high sec with plasma, storm, and barren, you're gold, and you can deal with the high sec stuff. Well, there are some really weird stuff going on with high sec. Um, gantries they'll place a gantry but not build it and lock out that planet f for reasons i'm not really sure why um yeah there there is a way to use the command center to launch planetary stuff but it's it's in very small amounts and it's very restrictive and yeah doing anything on mass scale is impossible that way so i don't know what they're up to um but whatever if you can fly if you can find a a system without that BS, uh, then you can, yeah, then you can have a high sec system where you can actually do that, and it's great. Um, so, is there any? There's four planets in Amenkanar. Uh, are there storm planets at Amenkanar? Doesn't look like it. Are there plasma planets in Amenkanar? No, there's not sadly that's sad uh Arara, what do we got Ooh, look at that so we got two storm barren plasma you can make enriched uranium um, mechanical parts uh oxygen well i prefer you make coolant here and here it's not a great thing but it's nice they but still uh, you're going to need more than that you need mostly mechanical parts um you need uh mostly um it's half and half actually you need you need half and half of barren and plasma um, and then uh, a quarter you need for coolant and then one eighth you need approximately for uh, oxygen um don't I I prefer four barren actually. Let's see four planets, what we got here. Eh, same thing, Sirica. Uh Sharia. Eh, meh. And what's this? Oh, it's probably because I'm too far away. That's hilarious. But yeah, we're just looking for the types. Um That's not bad. MR? Oh my god, MR. I don't think we can even do MR. Uh, Hedion. No, no. Oh, that's cool. What's, what we got here? Ooh, sexy. Akrogan? Nice system. If you've got one account all in for um, mechanical parts, yeah, totally. That's an awesome system. Um, six planets. Ooh, fun. Eh, man, whatever. That's also, yeah, Nurai's good too. Um, uh, Ziona, great. Um, I don't think you can place, I don't, I'm not sure about placing planetary and capital systems. I don't think you can. Uh, maybe. So, yeah, I mean, how far can we look? Six jumps away. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah. Um,. It could be related to skill, how far you can 
look, but I doubt it. I think it just goes six, six systems. Um, why did it? Oh, it was probably MR. That's probably why it was redded out, right? Yeah, that's why. Okay, so yeah, you can. So all the systems that don't have this, you could have built in. So Kedor Prime, for sure. Okay. Eh, but meh. So six jumps away. Let's see. Is that related to skill? I've got minimal skills on these guys. This is my tertiary help. Remote sensing means... Then five light years. Okay, whatever. I guess so. Um, that means I can. Put that. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's if I get more. If at higher skill, I can see further. I can open another client and check it out. Um, but I don't think I have more than three remote sensing on any of my characters because it, I just don't care. I don't really know what planetology and um, advanced planetology planetology does. Um, does it mean you get more output? Does it mean uh, you get a more? It says accurate, right? Does it mean that the lower levels there you're going to have some? The data will lie to you. I don't know i've never wondered i've never i've never wondered far enough to actually go and test it and that'll be a video for another time because i don't want to get into it but yeah um the other key thing you need is um accounting it's in accounting and it is uh customs code expertise and look at the savings you get 10 percent per level so that's pretty huge you need that skill to lower the tax because otherwise it can, it can spiral out of control uh, for custody for the tax when you're importing and exporting to the POCO so yeah keep that in mind okay so yeah, I'm I'm happy with low sec it it's fun <laughs> if you can if you can use that word I'll show you how to do it safely okay well there's nobody in system but it's it's pretty quick. You just whip out. I don't think I've mounted a cloak on this. Just assume I have. Oh, good. So I'll go to planets, um, Baron. I'll warp there, warp and it drive. should take Active. you to the Poco. Give me a sec. Last thing I want to do is land right on the Poco and it bounced off. I think I have it here. Yep. So Nizil 1 will warp to 10. Warp drive active. I've got an afterburner here and my warp drive. We'll run out of cat for the micro warp drive, but it'll get us in position fairly easily. So what we're doing here, we're not placing bookmarks yet. Um, we're just we're just planting the stuff real quick build go to the pole pick one or the other I like the North Pole and I zoom in and I just plunk and I submit and I get out doesn't cost me anything get out I go to the next one uh, that should be barren I believe um, so what 10 drive, let's check active. that barren yeah and then I go I'll go place another one at four as well There we go. And as we land, I'll go in. Go to the north. Oh, I'm already at the North Pole. Excellent. And plunk. Uh, actually, give me a sec. Show other characters. Okay, I don't want to overlap theirs. Derp. Yeah, I've got other alts already. That's done. Then I just go to four. Four, 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 four. four. Ten. Zip, zip, zip. So yeah, it's just drive, zip, zip, active. zip. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Doesn't cost you anything. Quick, quick, quick. Um, and you're down. And you have to be Omega to do this. So have a really cheap 
Um, you'll need it eventually when, if you've got multiple accounts, you'll want to extract everything. And if you've got everybody in the same system, you'll want to do it. But uh, that, that I've made videos about that, so I won't get too much into that. Show other people's. There we go. Build and plunk. Submit. Awesome. There we go. And go dock. Warp drive active. So just check number one. See if I didn't screw up the placement for that. Show other people's. Did I overlap? Oh, that'd be hilarious if I overlap somebody else. <laughs> right smack on it. I don't see them. It could be overlapping, but I don't know. Oh, right. Um, one of them's down Talking here. Permission requested. In the middle here that I placed. So, yeah, I didn't overlap it. Phew. Thank God. All right. Docking request accepted. It's helpful when you're looking at other people's, uh, other, your other alts on the planet to make sure you don't overlap with them. So I place them all at the North Pole. Easy clicking. All right. So now we're safe. Now we go up. We go here. I'll do it real quick. So make sure you get this one, the tip of this matching with the line, and this one right there. Perfect. And then we go Noble Metals. It'll be the least. So what we do is we go, okay, um, show other people's where to place that one. And it'll be blue lines. You'll just look for blue lines here. Did I click it? I might not have clicked it. Oh, I can never tell if I've... There. All right, that's one. So this is taken care of. So it looks like that. Okay, and I had another one. And the best way to find, and this is why I like it at the North Pole, but sometimes you want to look for other people's. So we'll go over base metals, and that'll blanket the planet. And what you're looking for is there we go. Is that is not one of mine. Uh, is it anywhere near Noble Metals? Kind of. Kind of. I'm going to assume they're using Noble Metals. And most of the time, when they have a shite setup, this is kind of weird. Um, it's got two extractor heads, two silos, which you don't need. And it's probably advanced and too basic, but you're going to have way too much input for anyways. So hopefully he's given up planetary stuff and he's not really using that, but we're, we're just going to assume he is. So um, where was it? I think I was draining this area. Probably not. I've lost my place. That's the thing about this. So, click on that guy. And he is... Where's the blue lines? Blue lines, blue lines. Damn it. There. Alright, so I've got there... So it looks kind of like a mask, face, nose, blue nose, and okay, white and red eye, okay, and where's that other guy? See? Hard to see. to see against the dark background. There we are. And you are. On 
that one, which is lower down and kind of looks like a bicycle part almost. So we are looking for, there it is. That's one. And that's two. I'll place my one right here for noble metals. And that's why it's so important to have the same one for all your characters. Um, so it so you can start to remember, okay, I built it on the on the mask, and then I gotta be careful of the bicycle part. And then okay, I'll put it right here. So it 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 pays to <laughs> know your planets after a while. But once you've built them, I tend not to move them at all. Oh, that's all. And I'd like to make my base along this this line right here. It's a good range thing for for links. The links can get a bit tricky. <laughs> so I'll put the link in between here. It doesn't cost me anything. And this is 90k so far. But I need to, in order to go any further, upgrade this. And so how much skis do I have? Thank God I've got barely enough. I haven't logged in any other client, so this is lucky. Come on. Okay, so beyond this, I'll have to... Uh, I'll, I'll just simulate it to the very end. Uh, and then uh, I'll need to shut down the video. And But here's what I do. Barren storage. Right here. <laughs> Baron storage right there, um, and towards the um, the I think the noble. I'll place the um, advanced on the other side of the silo towards the um, the base uh, metals. Uh, I think, or is it the other way around? I forget. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. One of the one of the two. And I place that, and then I get uh, the basic industries uh, for the uh, h higher density base metals. I'll put them right next to each other, or very close. And then the other side, I'll put them far apart for meaning less dense. And it will that will seriously help you when you're quickly doing um, the the inputs to the systems when you're clicking on the silo and making it um, for that. But yeah, I mean. Basically, that's just the basic stuff. And then I'll put uh, two to three uh, extractor heads for the um, base metals and seven to eight for the noble metals. And I'll try not to overlap them. Uh, do my best not to get them all mixed up. Um, but it looks pretty good right now. So yeah. Um, it, it doesn't cost, like, the upgrade to level 4 is the most expensive. Uh, this will probably cost, in total, about 6 million per character, per planet. Yeah, um, that's basically the start of it. I've made other videos going further in-depth of building that stuff, but uh, I think that's all you need to know there. Um, I keep a close eye on this to tell me whether I've screwed up or not and whether I can move on. But yeah, the other videos are about that. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, once I get that down pat, um, I'll go out with a ship. It cheapest, I think they're still cheap. Let's let's see how uh, cheap they are. Covered ops. It's usually the Omar, the Anathema that is dirt cheap. It's actually quite expensive now. Twenty-seven. Um, it's the cheapest covert ops thing on the market, right? 29, oh, that's close. Cheetah, 31, okay, so. I like the Helios, it's pretty cool, but let's go with the least expensive one. 27 million for one of these, and you get one of these puppies, and you can go out and 
uh, just just pretend this is a one of those. And what you need to do is make a bookmark between 2,500 and um, two kilometers. Um, and the easiest way to do that, I recently showed a video of that. Is let's go to um, I don't know, we'll go to the customs office to ten kilometers. Self drive active. Yeah, this is kind of like an introduction to planetary. So what we'll do is once we land, and the nice thing about this celestial object, unlike asteroids, is you can actually right click and set keypad, which is freaking brilliant. Come on, baby, there you go. Set default two two five zero. There you go, and voila. So we'll set a bookmark. Planet one. Now you'll need to get more fancy when you have multiple clients, um, and you'll. What I do is I ha I'll explain it once I get these down, or as once I get this first one down. So there you go. It's perfect. Once I wait till it gets in position, and then we'll plug plant it. eventually get there come on there we go yeah the AI is much better at getting that this for you than the well actually that really sucks come on um, a little bit more than that buddy I'm happy with that. That's close enough. So when you you land, you just approach this spot, and if you see neutral, you can click up right away, and you're also in range to interact with it. So it's it's the best of both worlds. Um, the if you've got multiple clients, what you need to do is um, for each planet, you like get this client in this position, and then you get another client in another position. Uh, Preferably the DST. Uh, you'll have the DST with a base bookmark, uh, which is, um, you know, the same distance to the same keypad. Um, and then you'll have your other clients in an orb around the DST's bookmark, also at that distance from everybody, but the same distance from the POCO. So you got this cloud of um, bookmarks for your, you know, in total. For all your clients so you can warp in the dst and i've done a video on it you can warp in the dst and then um, transfer from the customs office um, to the to directly to the fleet hangar for all your clients and then you just all warp off to the next one um, all approach your individual bookmarks and if any neutral comes in you're more than two thousand from each other more than two thousand from uh, the poco you all look up and he's like, whoa, where'd they go? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's mostly safe. Um, it's worked for me for years. It, and I hardly do this. It, it, They're like, oh, well, I'll get you next time. But it's like, I do this once every three months. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> you know, it's that slow of a system of, that I've got. And it fuels all my, I've got, you can easily run per client the way i did the math um is i used to have eight astro houses and and i was easily able to take care of all of them um now i've got six of them it's even more easy so if you've got one omega you can take care of one astro house a service module whatever athenor's fuel so easy it's it's mind-bogglingly simple it's no longer the aggravating migraine inducing nightmare of uh, POS um, fueling which was insane um, but yeah uh, so that's the that's what I do right now and then I go to the next one 
um, custom two, workman ten. Warp drive active. Oh, douchebag. Douchebag alert. Um, so yeah, he'll most likely try to gank me because he's a douchebag. <laughs> he's a wannabe douchebag. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, but anywhere. Ah, that's a corpse set. Great. Okay, so yeah, I'd, I'd make it within 2.25 of that. Um, yeah, and then I'd uh, keep making them. Um, uh, yeah, but it's, it's, I usually, what I do is I get the DST. And after everybody's got their planetary stuff set up, or when I'm ready to make the bookmarks, I'll take everybody plus a DST, um, and then set up my system. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, the other thing I want to tell you guys about is uh, exporting to the POCO. But you don't need to be at the planet to do it. So what you'll do is... But you need not. You have to be not. yet need to be in the system. You cannot be docked. So find a tether and go to it. Uh, a tethered up well, or just simply. What's he got? Lol. Um, use your. How far did I land? I am fine. Docking permission um, requested. Docking request get in your, accepted. Um, Get in your athema. Anathema, sorry. Anathema? I don't know. Maybe I said it right the first time. Um, and just warp to somewhere and cloak up. And then you can do your entire export um, stuff to the POCO. Cloaked. It's super safe. It's easy as buy. Um, and then, yeah, what? then you can get your DST and all your... Once you've done all your guys, then you can just trundle out to each one... Uh, get into your s spots, import, export, whatever you need to do, go to the next one. In this, whoopsie. Oh, right, sorry. I was like, red X, need to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, this is the great thing about this. You're like, oh, shit, there's a mistake. I better go fix it. And you do, and, you, and then you wait two weeks until these pop up again, and then you can do your do your whole reset um, every two weeks plus one day um, and if you made any mistakes you'll see it right here it'll say yep you haven't done everything and you'll oh shit I forgot something and you go back and do it and that's the reason I do it because the last thing you want to do is every two weeks do this you know, every two weeks minus one day and you do this and you don't catch your mistakes a week or two later you go and you notice that oh one of your when you're resetting, you go, oh, crap, I left. Why is my launch pad empty? What the, you know, and so, yeah, that's that's why I let that red X lead the way. <laughs> yeah. Fun stuff. I think that's it for the uh, an introduction to uh, planetary interaction. I, I'm sure I've made other videos about this, um, but hopefully each time it gets smoother. And how I explain things. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Have a good one.